I love stuff like this. I posted uh, Trump hats on my Facebook Marketplace page. And I got a bunch of slack liberal motherfuckers coming along and try to harass me. And this was the wonderful little one today that I just thought was so sweet. Look at this. You no know, thanks, Dot, and you could have tried looking presentable in your pics to advertise your product. A little lipstick and concealer go a long way to cover up faces of addiction. <laughs> it's not appealing seeing crackheads modeling clothing in 2020, just saying. Yeah, okay. Twit. This is my reply back to her. Tanya Tate Peters. What kind of judgmental piece of crap kind of person are you to talk like that to me? I've never done crack a day in my life. You look like a cat on acid hit by a truck and no amount of makeup, even the contents of the entire Sephora store you're wearing in your pick. Can fix the ugly on the outside or inside of you, my dear, I look better at almost 50 years old than you will ever accomplish in your entire life. You're right, I don't have a stitch of makeup on and you know why. I have been a banging hot beauty my entire freaking life. I have never had to wear makeup to be that way. I'm all natural and all beautiful, nothing fake inside or out. I'm not gonna start now for some snot-nosed shallow this respectful jealous liberal twit. So you can just take your bully bullshit up the road. Cause you don't shake myself. Confidence baby I know who I am and I love me. My advice to you is learn how to love yourself without putting other people down to make yourself feel more important. And that's all that little libtard girls do. And guys, they don't have anything important to say. They can't debate a topic because they have no information. They just want to bully you. So, sometimes you have to teach them a lesson.